Who are you? No, really. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you in the wildest and deepest part of your heart? Who are you in the place that you don't allow anyone to see? As John Bell says, who is the you you hide? Here's what I believe. Well, here's what I believe and what Catherine of Genoa believes. She said, the me in me is God. Do you know what that means? That the authentic you, the you that makes you, you, is God. That God resides in that authentically beautiful you. Isn't that awesome? That when we are living out of the deepest part of ourselves, that is where God also lives. And I have a feeling that even if you've never thought of it like that before, you know it. You know those moments when you are vulnerable, when you are sensing something incredibly deep is happening in you and around you, when the words that need to be said are said, when your life feels full of meaning, full of purpose, and full of love. You know those moments. I know that you have lived those moments. But sometimes those moments seem far away and a long time ago, don't they? Which begs the question, how do we get back to those moments? How do we live the you that is authentic and real? Well, if you're confused, I have some advice for you. Ask someone who is queer. Ask them. There are people all around us who have lived in perhaps a place that they didn't know who they were. They couldn't access the God that dwelled within them. That perhaps they lived in fear and loneliness and pain because they didn't know what waited for them on the other side of the closet door. And if you now know that they are queer, it means that they have walked that rainbow path to the deepest part of themselves. They have walked through the stuff that they needed to work through for self-acceptance and self-love. If they have told you that they are queer in a world that is not always kind to those who are different than the majority, then they are living their true, authentic selves. And that is certainly something to be celebrated because that is not an easy thing to do. So maybe talk to them about what it means to take that rainbow path, the path that leads inward, past the fear and loneliness, past the struggle and the pain, to the place where God lives, to the place of full acceptance and love of self, to the you that you no longer have to hide. Section 161, 3D of the Doctrine and Covenant says, understand that the road to transformation travels both inward and outward. The road to transformation is the path of the disciple. Now I can't tell you that once you have found and are living your true authentic self, that everything will be, well, sunshine and rainbows. But I can promise you that even in the midst of those difficult moments and spaces, living as your true, beautiful self is exactly what God wants for us. Because God wants what is best for us, always. So do the hard work. Look inward and take that rainbow path to the incredible person that resides in you. The journey is not easy. The journey will challenge you, confront you, and test you, but it is also the journey to finding God within you. And that, my friends, will make all the difference. So as usual, Please feel free to leave a comment or a like and, and share this message around. I'm really interested in what you have to say about it. 